Should you sell Go High Level as an affiliate or should you upgrade to the 497 level for the SaaS configurator and sell it to your clients as a SaaS product? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video and I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons. If you're new to this channel, my name is James Bonanese and I've run a multi-million dollar agency as well as a multi-million dollar coaching program in this exact space. And I've been down every single possible road in regards to tools. Go High Level is my go-to, has been for the last couple of years. Prior to that, we had to piece together many, many different tools and softwares. And so this makes it a lot easier to run your marketing agency. And it also makes it a lot easier to start your marketing agency. One of the biggest questions that I get is, well, you know, Go High Level has the opportunity to resell it as a white label. Do you recommend that? Or do you recommend having my clients just directly go on to Go High Level? And that is what we are going to tackle in this video. So let's jump over to my trusty screen. All right, so should you be selling Go High Level as a SaaS product or should you just be an affiliate for Go High Level? And so let's look at the pros and cons and I'm just gonna list them out here because it's really a simple, depending on you, it's gonna be a simple decision, but at least I quickly just threw out some of the things that were right on top of my head in regards to the pros of selling it via the SaaS configurator. And so the cool thing is if you sell Go High Level for 197, then you keep all of 197, right? With the SaaS configurator option, the $497 level plan, you have the opportunity to have unlimited clients and then build whatever products that you want, whatever SaaS products that you want. So 197 equals you keep 197. You also get to kind of create your own offer. You get to pick and choose what features you want each one of level plans that you choose in the SaaS configurator. Typically, I've seen a lot of people do 97, 197, 297, or maybe 297, 497, 697. Again, it's all gonna depend on the services that you attach to it. And going into the services area, you get to tie a service into this. So let's say you get somebody at the 697 le level. Well, that level could include the features of Go High Level in addition to the service that you're providing. It's sticky, it works well, and if this is the way you're doing it, then this is the way I suggest to do it. Uh, and you have more control over your pricing. So for example, if you're selling SaaS to your customer or your business owner that is higher, that has hired you, you have more control over what the cost is going to be for that software and service. Meaning they don't have to have a bill for the 297 level plan for, for go high level in addition to also having to pay you. So you get to couple it up into one payment. Um, some may say you look more professional, right? Hey, I have my own software, although I'm, I'm against that because it's not really your software, but to, to each their own. Uh, I guess you could brag that you have your own software and go high level will rebuild their phone charges, rebuild their email charges. And then, you know, essentially if you want to have them on WordPress or, um, Yelp and all that Yext and all that stuff, you can rebuild for a bunch of different things. And uh, if you really want to know my thoughts on this, I'll put up uh, put a video up here. And at the end of the video, you can also choose to watch that uh, that video there because I have a pretty strong sense and stance on this. But I'm also open to always hearing other people's opinions. Okay, so let's get into the cons of it. Well, the cons of selling software as your own service and your own software. That means that you're going to have the expectation that that client is gonna be utilizing the software as well. So you're gonna to have to support the customers. You're gonna to have to understand it's gonna be hard to scale because the more customers you have on a software that they are utilizing, they're gonna you're gonna to need to hire people, right? So you're gonna to have to have training for the customers. You're gonna to have to have onboarding for the customers. You have to track all the payments, track all the rebuilds, track all the cancels and be on top of that. Otherwise potentially they could have free access or they could lose access and be like, what the heck? Like, sorry, I didn't realize my, my credit card failed. I need to get into the account ASAP because I need to respond to my customers. And so you kind of have all these, these different arms of playing. So um, this would be the pros and cons for, for SaaS versus the affiliate side of it. And I'm sure I could list out more on both sides, but these are the, just the main ones that kind of popped into my head. And then now let's look at the reverse, the affiliate side versus selling it as a SaaS, meaning you're going to tell your customers just to go directly to go high level. And then that would be the software that they use. The pros of that is you get to leverage go high level support. You get to leverage um, the go high level trainings. 
Uh, you, you need less human capital because Go High Level could do a lot of the supporting. Uh, they can onboard, they will, they will rebuild, they will handle payments, and they will handle the customers to some extent. They can always, you know, use the help chat support. And the cons of it is that if they get on the 297 level, you're only making 118 bucks. Okay. On the flip side of this is that typically if you're going to go the uh, affiliate side versus the SaaS side, you would, you would want your customers to know that this is the software you're utilizing in order to run the services. So to hone in on the two choices that you have, my conclusion and the way I do it is I couple my clients on the SaaS side, meaning I sell them services and I just utilize Go High Level SaaS Configurator only for the rebilling of text messages and emails. Now I do that because I don't want to pay for my customers' text messages and emails. And so the only way to rebuild it directly to the customer would be I am on the 497 level plan. I I'm still not having them purchase my services through this the SaaS configurator. I essentially bill them, whether it be a Stripe invoice or I bill them, you know, via PayPal or wire transfer, whatever it might be, the regular way. And I just throw a credit card up on their sub account. That's the way I do it. I create, create a sub account for ABC Towing. I tell them, hey, listen, you know, here's my services, my three services that I provide or my three packages that I provide for the services. And, you know, which one do you want? If they choose the, let's say the... Uh, $2,000 a month one. I just say that, you know, in addition to the 2000 a month, we just need to get a credit card for the, for the text messaging, voicemail drops, and for the emailing. Now, there's a caveat to that because in some instances, if they pick my highest level plan, I include all the charges for that. And so I would still set them up on the sub account, but it would be my credit card paying for their text messages paying for their emails, okay? But I'm also gonna be watching it that they don't go crazy and I'm gonna have caps on it because you're allowed to do that. And so I actually do not affiliate Go High Level to my actual local business clients. I use Go High Level's uh, SaaS feature, but still bill them outside of the SaaS configurator. I could continue to build it in with uh, within like build my three packages but sometimes my pricing doesn't always match so in actuality if i set my three package pricing uh to it it el eliminates my ability to build out custom packages for certain agency uh, for certain businesses and so i stay off the actual billing of the SaaS configurator unless i'm putting their credit card on file which Go High Level's $497 level plan allows me to do. So I'm kind of band-aiding it in some way or another. But if you're able to build three packages, let's say beginner, intermediate, you know, scale or whatever you want to call it, and you know you're not going to change the prices, that there's not going to be any like, you know, different pricing features that you would do for different businesses, then you should go ahead, you should probably think about getting that 497 level plan and setting up the package pricing, you know, build it out how you want and bill them directly through Go High Level, which will then put their credit card automatically on file for that sub account. So, you know, there's pros and cons all different ways, but what I wouldn't do is if you're selling, let's say, let's just make this really, really easy, lead generation Facebook ads to a client, then I would suggest that you do not affiliate them and send them directly to Go High Level um, and the only reason why is because they're going to get lost in the abyss. You, if you're you're going to do this utilizing Go High Level, there's only one or two ways to do it. If you send them to Go High Level directly, they could get lost in the abyss. If you're going to do it the SaaS way, then you unfortunately have to upgrade to the 497 level plan. To some people, that's unfortunate. For others, it's not a big deal. And if you're at a 297 level plan, it's fine. Just simply sell them via an invoice, check, wire transfer, whatever you want, set up the sub account, ask them to put their credit card on file. So their text messages and emails could be rebuilt. The only difference is, is that you're not going to make that little bit of increase that, that you would want to if you were using the SaaS configurator. So 
If you're ever thinking about getting to the 497 level plan and you wanted to upgrade, you could click the link down below that explains everything that you get, all my bonuses. And this is if this is the first time to your to my channel, like, subscribe, share this video for anybody that would need it. It helps push it out to the YouTube community. In addition, make sure you turn the notifications on because I come out with one to two videos a week. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully this was helpful and it didn't confuse you anymore. And if it did, simply put a question down in the comments and I'll make sure I answer them. Thanks a lot. Talk soon. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.